Octavia here. I am so obsessed with these bunny ear things right now. They just make me feel super cute whenever I'm like doing my makeup or washing my face. I feel like a little animal. So it's been a little while since I've done my last masking and BS video, but I really love doing these videos because it gives me the chance to like actually sit down and talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about. So like be sure to leave a comment below or leave multiple comments as you're watching this and tell me what your thoughts and feelings are. I love reading them and talking to you guys. So today I'm going to try out the new Glam Glow Glitter Mask, the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. This is perfect because it actually came in the mail like two days ago and I was like, oh, perfect. I can use this now but before I go into that I'm actually gonna show you guys what I've been doing lately with my teeth because this is also like a nighttime ritual that I do while I mask as well so in the past little while I've seen that my teeth have gotten yellower and yellower and that doesn't really make me happy I like having a really nice white smile so I actually got this professional at-home whitening kit it's the Philips zoom day white kit and I know out there there's a lot of these things like you know the charcoal toothbrushes and certain toothpaste and the light stuff that you see on Instagram but this this is actually the first kind of like real professional dentist approved at home whitening kit. So I've been using this for just short of two weeks now and I think that it's been an improvement. I measured on the chart that they gave me what my teeth color was before this all started and then I'm going to insert a clip and show you guys afterwards uh, what my teeth have gotten to at around two weeks mark. So I have these little trays that I got made by my dentist. I just had to go in and ask for trays to be made and it comes in a little syringe like this. So all I have to do is just squeeze a tiny amount in each little tooth area of my tray. It's super easy. I do it once every single day and leave it in for half an hour. So in goes the first. All right. Uh, okay, so then put in my top ones. There we go. I love how easy it is to use. Okay, I'm talking with a little bit of a lisp now. I love how easy it is to use at home. I can use it any time of the day. All I have to do is just brush my teeth beforehand. So just before this, I brushed it with my Philips Sonicare brush, toothbrush, and then I just pop these on. I'll usually go and just like do a little bit of chores around the house, clean up, or I will do a mask, which I'm about to do. It doesn't taste nasty or anything, which is nice. I don't taste anything. I don't get any extra product up in my mouth, which is sometimes one of the things I hate the most about like whitening products. So here's the Glam Glow mask that I'm going to be using. It's black with glitter in it. How fun. Oh, I love that they give us a little brush to put it on. It makes it so much easier. It's funny because here in North America, I feel like we're so obsessed with having straight white teeth. And it's funny because that's not really like the, the trend in other places around the world. I believe someone told me that, for example, in the UK, uh, no one really cares about getting braces that much. Like people just don't typically spend money to get braces like we do here because I think for the majority of us here in North America we will go through getting braces sometime in high school or even middle school I had mine when I was in grade six because I think they said my teeth were growing really fast and my teeth mature quickly but I always found it interesting that standards of beauty are so different around the world even when it comes to things that feel so normal in Canada like everyone gets braces like that's just not common in other places of the world and there goes my dog opening the door. <laughs> Why you always got to interrupt like that, Miyoko? If you guys are from somewhere that's outside of North America, let me know your opinion of this. I would love to hear what you guys feel are standards of beauty in your country or continent or wherever you live. Let me just say that this is a very aesthetically pleasing mask. And it feels so nice to work this on. This brush works really, really well on putting on the mask. This would be the most fun mask to put on with friends when you have them over. Babe, yeah. look at this mask, isn't it cool? It's sparkly. Mm -hmm. and why do is there sparkly? And do you want to try it? No. Why? Not right now, but why is there sparkles on it? <laughs> because why not? Okay, I think all masks need to come with a brush. It literally, this is literally life changing to me. This is making my life way easier. Yeah, but even things like getting a tan, because a lot of people in North America strive to have like a nice tan. They feel like it makes them look healthy and glowy. For me, I don't really like being tanned. I actually like looking pale. Maybe that stems from the fact that like when it comes to beauty in Asia, people actually uh, like light skin more. How does this look? This is so cool. I want to fill in all the patch so it looks nice and even. So maybe it's the fact that like I have an Asian background that I feel like having lighter skin is like, I don't know, ideal, uh, ideal beauty standards to me. But it's kind of messed up to think that the color of someone's skin 
is in relation to beauty standards. Does that have like a borderline racist connotation behind it to say that a certain type of skin color, whether it's tan, light, or dark, attributes to some sort of beauty standard? I don't know. I kind of just want to wear glitter on my face as like a look. Like, is this a look? All right, so it's been 30 minutes since I put in my trays. Now all I have to do is take them out and go rinse up my mouth. You guys can actually take this out. Oh, that I need. Okay, I gotta go rinse out my mouth now. Right back. Looking pretty light. Yee. It's really easy to do and it's literally probably the least uncomfortable whitening system I've ever tried. Because I have tried the ones in the sticks where you like pull out a gel and you like put the gel on your teeth. But then you're like left walking around like this. Because there's nothing like protecting it. Even when I used white strips before, you would put them on and then they would start foaming in your mouth. And then you'd get this awful taste and have foam just in your mouth and it was really gross. Anyways, as I was rinsing, I felt like my mask was peeling here and it is. So I think it's ready to go. This is the fun part. I should do this on New Year's Eve and then peel it off when the clock strikes 12 p.m. for the new year. <laughs> so it's almost like I'm peeling off a new me for 2018. Can't believe it's the new year already. I honestly felt like this year didn't even happen. It went by so fast. No. I guess I didn't put it on very evenly. Some parts are more dry than others. Look at that sparkly goodness right there. My face definitely feels firm though and very soft actually. Bouncy. All right, I'm gonna end this video so I can wash the rest of this off. Leave the comments below. I wanna start a little discussion on what your thoughts are and the things that I talked about. And if you have any questions about the mask or my teeth whitening, whatever it may be, put it in below. I will respond. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because things are fun over there. You're missing out if you're not. See you guys.